We got a little bit of profit on our McDonald's trade, and now we're looking at it again. I'll show you a nice looking trading range on it. Stay around. Hi, this is Tim from TradingStrategyGuides.com. Happy June, everybody. Can you believe it's the sixth month of the year already? Tempus Fugit. Today's trade pick is a trading range on McDonald's Corporation. We'll get to that in a few minutes, but first, I'm going to give you an update on the active trades. And then later on, we're going to hop in a time machine for today's trading maxim. Happy Monday! Remember to click the subscribe button and hit that bell so you won't miss any of these great trade setups. Let's take a look at the active trades. This is the US dollar Mexican peso. It's moving down quite nicely. It's in a little bit of a consolidation, but it looks like it might be uh, breaking below there now. As I mentioned in Friday's video, I'm waiting for this parabolic SAR to get down here below our break even stop so we can trail the stops. Should only take a few more days now. This is the Royal Caribbean Cruises daily chart. Friday, the price gap down to retest our broken resistance, now support level at 50 and pushed back up. This is definitely a good sign. Now we're going to wait for it to hit our first target up here at 58.98. As I mentioned in Friday's video, I sold the US dollar, Swiss franc, just ahead of Thursday's close, and Friday. It pushed about halfway to our target. The Canadian dollar, Japanese yen, has just been kind of fiddling around right here, just above our entry for a few days. These two wicks right here, this one and this one, are very encouraging. As you know, wicks represent price rejection, so this could be a suggestion of a continuation to the upside. We'll see. This is just a heads up, my favorite, Tesla could trigger a buy this week. Looks like it's pushing right up to our 835.50 level. So watch this thing all week. We could get a buy on it. And that's it for the active trades. Let's take a look at today's pick. If you've been around, you know we just made a little bit of profit on the McDonald's Corporation bear flag, but then it pushed back up and stopped out our second half. So I like to review the charts after a trade, not only to be sure I followed the rules, and to identify possible modifications to the rules, but to see if a new pattern has presented itself. And in this case, it has presented us with a new consolidation, this nice trading range. A trading range is a consolidation with a strong support level like this one at 168, and a strong resistance level like this one up at 190. Price just sort of bangs back and forth between these levels until it eventually explodes out of the range in one direction or the other. I'll take a break of a trading range in either direction. And as a nice confirmation of the consolidation, we have a decline in volume and volatility right down here. Volatility is the amount of daily movement of the price, and I measure it with the average true range, or ATR, which shows the average length of the last 14 candles. And here's the trade plan. We're going to buy a daily candle close above the range, or above 190 or we're going to sell a daily candle close below the range or below 168. On the breaking candle to enter a full size position we want to see the volume bar reach up to the volume average right there. If it doesn't quite reach the average but does reach 75 percent of the average volume I'll open a half size position to reduce risk. You can calculate the percentage by taking this volume number here dividing it by this volume average and you should get at least 0.75. If you don't get 0.75, I suggest you stand aside on the trade. Our stop loss is one and a half times the ATR, and our first target is one times the ATR. So let's say, for example, if this broke above the range and closed right up here, just ahead of the close, we would take a buy, and then we would look down here at the ATR, Multiply that number by one and a half and measure that distance behind the entry, and that would be our stop loss. And then measure one ATR above the entry, and that would be our first target. And of course, it would be just the opposite for a break to the downside. If after entering the trade we get a close back inside the range, we'll take the loss right then and not wait for it to hit the stop loss. Our intention is that a breakout of the range should be explosive and hit our target fairly quickly. If the momentum goes away, we want to shut the trade down without taking a full stop if possible. When the price hits our first target, we will close half the position for profit 
and set the stop loss to break even on the remainder. We'll then follow stops as price moves in our direction until the market takes us out. These two rules are the very definition of cutting your losses and letting your winners run. Typically I do this using two positions. The first position has a stop loss and a take profit. That position will close automatically when the first target is hit. The second position will only have a stop loss and that's the position that will be allowed to run. When the first target is hit we will have to manually move our stop loss up to break even on the second position. I will only risk about 2% of my account on each trade. And that's today's setup on McDonald's Corporation. Remember my intent here is to tell you how I manage these trades. If you've already got a good trade management plan, use it. Things that work for me may not work for you. You have to understand your own mind to find the best strategies for your trading. And speaking of understanding your own mind, that's my intent for the trading maxims. The maxims help me control my emotional impulses and keep me on the straight and narrow path. A maxim is a general truth, fundamental principle, rule of conduct, or a proverbial saying. The purpose of my maxims is to motivate me to discipline and trading as well as other areas of my life. I suggest you start your own list of maxims, things that you can say to yourself while you're trading or doing life to make sure you always do the right thing. Feel free to borrow from my list. And today, a deep dive into the archive for our maxim of the day. Tim's trading maxim number five, a line is never just a line, it's always a zone. If you've been in my trading rooms or followed this channel for more than a minute, you've heard me say this. This goes way back to my beginnings as a trader. I spent a lot of time drawing lines and looking for perfection. I would put stops one pip past the lines and wouldn't even take a trade if it didn't touch the line. <laughs> Can you believe that? The problem is experienced traders don't do that. They put orders ahead and behind the lines all the time. Often you'll see the price push many pips through a line and retreat back in the direction in which it came. Sometimes the price won't even touch the line. These should all be considered tests of the line. Because it's not really a line, it's a zone. If you ask how wide a zone is, well, all I can tell you is that depends. you just got to eyeball it. If it looks sort of like a test of the line, then it probably is. Don't look for perfection. You'll waste precious time. You also have to know that zones move. Sometimes it's wider, sometimes it's narrower. It's all very subjective. And that was a hard lesson for me. But if you follow this channel and see the patterns that I draw, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Just remember a line is always a zone. And remember our McDonald's Corp trade plan here. We're going to buy a daily candle close above the range or above 190 or we're going to sell a daily candle close below the range or below 168. If the volume is not quite average, go half size as long as it's at least 75% of the average. Your stop loss is one and a half times the daily ATR and your first target is one times the daily ATR. And remember to click the link below to the trade management video for more details. Also remember to sign up for my free trading picks email list to be sure you don't miss any of these great trading picks. I send out about two or three picks a week from all different markets and you'll get to see them first. And the best thing is, it's free. I'll put the link below this video. Be sure to come back to Trading Strategy Guide's YouTube channel every week on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 3 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time for my new videos. Don't hesitate to ask any questions you may have. I'll either answer your question right in the comments or in a training video or both. And remember the only stupid question is the unasked one. Don't miss the next installment of the Trading Education series on Wednesday when I'll discuss what is a PIP. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up below. Have a great week and I'll see you Wednesday.